Hi friends, I'm excited to share a new layout with you today for the Shimmers Paints design team. I am showing a brand new product called Twinklings and I absolutely love these paints and had so much fun breaking them out and seeing the different um, colors and the shine that they have. The sparkle is truly beautiful. So there's actually, I was, you know, trying to figure out why they're so beautiful when as I was using them and as I was noticing the the different the new shine um and you can actually see as I was looking at it once it like while it was wet and then as it dried you can actually see like the teensiest tiniest little um particles of almost like glitter but it I don't even know what it is it's just absolutely gorgeous so the, these are definitely paints that I will be using moving forward. So the Twinklings, this new release um, is a collection of fall colors. So they're going to be released, Shimmers is going to be releasing uh, the Twinklings in sets seasonally. So you are able to buy this the whole set, these six colors that I'm using here, or you can purchase them individually and they are in these little pans which i'm super excited about so they're moving all of their um hardened water watercolors so the inklings um the creamies and then the twinklings are going to be in these little um pans and so you can put them together on a palette and i think that they'll be a little bit easier to store than the pots of color and it's the same amount of paint, but it's just a different shape and a different container. So it's kind of exciting. It's always fun to have something new. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so the top color that you see up there in the left is called Once Upon a Wine. So that's kind of a purplish, um, purplish, not really pink, but purple. It's, it's like a deep purple color and it is beautiful. It does remind me of red wine. And then each of the colors, the orange is Rustic Charm. The yellow is called Mind Your Business. The green is Plant, Plant One On Me. The blue is Blue By You. And then the brown color is Bark Up The Wrong Tree. So I love all of those. And what I did with on the paper. So I was using a mixed media cardstock and a watercolor cardstock. And, um, I painted each of the twinklings on. So each of the six colors, and then I let them dry and I did paint them on in layers. So I, and what I, the purpose of doing that, I wanted to notice, or I wanted to see what the color looked like as you layered it. So you can see here, as I paint these green leaves, it's a pretty, um, soft, color and then as you add layers it becomes more and more and more vivid so depending on the look that you're going for I could use these same twinklings in lots of different ways and they would look different on all the different projects it, depending on the color that I wanted the vividness of the color that I wanted so of course you know I'm a color girl so I want it to be as bright and beautiful as possible and so I definitely layered on the color um, layer after layer and love how it ended up looking. And so then I cut flowers using a cut file and then I ran them through, I'm going to run them through um, my texture folders to dry emboss them. So I love how that looked and I wanted to dry emboss all of these things because I thought it would help um, be able to see the shimmer and shine and it absolutely does. So the pumpkin is another, that's a Paige Evans cut file, the pumpkin is, and um, I cut that and painted it two different ways. You saw me as I was painting it and uh, added the orange and the purple and a little bit of the yellow in there. So I got to blend the colors together and I love how they look blended. So um, I'm super excited and super happy about this new, this new product and all the different things I'm going to be able to do with it. So it's very exciting. So here, what I'm doing is I have a picture from Thanksgiving, of course. So this is a, you know, beautiful fall layout and, 
are using beautiful fall colors, I should say. And um, I am using the November color kits to go along with the Twinklings. So these papers uh, and products are all from Shimmers Paints. And I went through, okay, there's the, sorry, there's the pumpkin. So I dry embossed it and you can see that it has the most beautiful sparkle. And um, so I used the paper, the pattern papers and uh, little pieces of ephemera that I actually fussy cut from patterned paper. And I'm going to be using all of that to create this layout. And I love how the colors in the November color kits from Shimmers um, coordinate with the, the Twinklings. Like it's all very beautiful together. And then here, I wanted to see what it would look like on that little yellow flower. It was, the yellow is super um, bright and I absolutely love that. Uh, but I wanted it to blend a little bit more with the fall colors of the pattern papers in the November color kits. So I did go back and add a little, just one little layer of the rustic, charm on top of that. And I love how that color, um, how the colors look blended together. So that's super fun. Okay. And here, what I'm doing is I'm creating my background. So this is, um, I'm taking the twinklings and I'm putting them on a piece of packaging. And then I'm just using that to smush them, uh, onto the background of my layout. So I am using that, the paper that I'm putting it on right now is Foundations Mixed Media White Cardstock. So it takes the color and the wet really well and it will not warp or fold up as you go. So there, and I just, I kind of wanted a subtle background. I wanted the color on the background to not be too overwhelming just because I have so much going on on top. So I wanted all of the colors on top to really stand out. But I did want to say that everything, all of the paints and the colors that I'm using on this layout, everything is the twinklings. So I didn't pull in any other colors or any other mediums. It really is just the twinklings. And I had so much fun using them in lots of different ways to try to see all the different things that they could do in the different ways that they looked as, you know, depending on the way that I put them on the papers or, um, the cardstock or whatever. So I am now starting that layout. So I've got the paint on the background. I kind of know the flowers are going to go vertically up and down, um, up coming, you know, below the photo and then above the photo. And so I've got, I've got all of that starting to be layered up there. And this photo is from Thanksgiving of last year. So all of my layouts here recently and coming up in the next weeks will be, um, featuring Thanksgiving. And so this this was just perfect. This photo is all of the family that was there last year for at my house for Thanksgiving. And it's one of my favorites. And so I wanted something, I wanted a special photo for the release of these new paints. And I love the colors and how they look with the colors in the photo. Okay. So then the flowers, I layered those up. So the cut file that I used is, uh, it has a solid flower and then it has like the outlined flower. And so I used both of those just stacked on top of each other because I love how that looks. These, this is a flower that I have used on, um, I've used it before on my shimmers, one of my past shimmers layouts and I absolutely love it. And then I, the pumpkin I already said was um, from Paige Evans. And then the flower or the leaves are, the leaves, I can't remember what the name of the cut file is. I will look and post it in the description on the video because um, I can't remember the name of the leaves, but it was just one of my Cricut cut files. So I used those to add, to cut the leaves and painted all of those with the, um, I actually painted them with plant one on me. And then I did add just a little bit of the blue by you in there just to kind of change the color a little bit. And I love how that looked. Okay, and then here what I did for um, this leaf, this was a one of the leaves from the patterned paper, but it was a little too dark and kind of not the right shade for the look I was going for. So I just added a little bit of white gesso and then um, 
painted the twinklings on top of it in layers. And so that ended up looking really good with the colors that I had on the background. Okay, and then here I am adding my title. So thankful, this is just from my stash. And then I'm trying to go through, I have so many thickers and stickers and alphas and all different kinds of things that I'm trying to go through and use things that I've had for a long time. And then the numbers are going to be from, I think, just like on my last layout, I think those are from Maggie. I think those are old Maggie Holmes uh, thickers. And I used two different sets to get, because there's only one one of the twos on each set. So I needed two twos for two, 2023. And um, I painted one of them to kind of match and coordinate. Okay, so here I made a little tag using patterned paper from the color kits. And then also that grid paper that I had was just from my stash. It's like very, very old and kind of yellowed, which I love that for this look of, the, of a fall layout. So I added my journaling to that little tag and it's gonna poke out on the right side of that photo. So that goes right there. And then I did use tangled thread and went and added that, kind of tucked it in behind the leaves and the flowers. And then I pulled out some crystals and half pearls and different things that coordinated with the colors of the layout. And I've got those, I'm adding those in little clusters around the flowers. And then pops of color is the last thing. I think that's the last thing I add. And I picked those four colors because I thought they looked really good with the colors of the twinklings. And so here you can see, I tried to go slow so that you could see the sparkle. So all of those pieces, the flowers, the leaves, the pumpkin, all of those started out as white cardstock. And I'm just amazed with how beautiful and shimmery and sparkly they are. So this is definitely a product that you should check out. If you leave a comment below on my YouTube video, I will be picking a winner from the comments. I'm going to pick a random winner from the comments below to win a $10 gift card to the Shimmers Paints store. So be sure and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And... Also, be sure to check out each of the videos listed below in the YouTube hop because there's lots of creative people using these twinklings in lots of different ways. Bye for now.